Hey guys, John Cashoni here, Earthworks, back for another cool project. Here back in the beaches area in Jacksonville, we got a really cool project going on where we're taking out all the St. Augustine grass, moving a bunch of things around. Just want to introduce you to some of the crew guys that'll be there too. Um, you got some key guys like Sydney and Bruce, you'll see some of them, those guys starting to tear out. So I've got uh, the irrigation team of All Star, uh, uh, Congre and Penn is another big tree company that we use here. They'll be transplanting a large Canary Island date palm. Alrighty y'all, my name is Sydney Sherling and we're out here at Neptune Beach. This is day three out here. As y'all can see, we've got a lot of the tear out done, gave the bushes a nice haircut, so we're moving right along. We've been mostly working on drainage today. We've got five downspouts all the way around the house that weren't connected to anything. So what we've done is run all of those into the ADS pipe, piped them all the way down the side of the house and joined that line in the backyard. And it goes right out into the lake. So that'll eliminate any standing water issues he had on the sides of his house by channeling all that right out into the lake. You can clearly see where our drainage has been flagged a whole bunch because we've got our irrigation subcontractors coming out on Friday and the last thing we want is them cutting into our drainage that we just laid today so we're going to be doing a succulent area in here with a little bit of a privacy hedge of potos and whatnot on this side have a couple lower plants out here in the middle but before we do any of that we're going to have to bring in dirt and raise all this up because it's extremely low right now and then this canary right here, this very, very large canary, is going to be getting moved just across the backyard. Hey guys, it's us again, Congaree and Penn. I'm Michelle, this is Russell. Uh, we just wanted to show you a little bit more of what we do uh, at Congaree and Penn. So of course we talked about the 90 the last time, uh, and that was installing a live oak at the beaches. So now we're gonna take you to a backyard where we've just relocated a palm tree. Uh, so if you guys, <laughs> within inches. So the first challenge with getting to the backyard is obviously narrow ways. We have within inches to work of the fence the drip line from the gutter, of course, the patio edge. So you'll see we created a foundation for our 90 to get through without crushing anything. Uh, second obstacle that we come up to, it's about a 10 foot, 10, 12 foot gap here between the edge of the concrete for the AC unit and the corner of the fence. So we had to cut back the truck in and take a wide turn or really as wide as possible. Yeah, <laughs> it was more like a 50 point turn, uh, but we did it. And as you can see, we're working not only in a tight spot, maybe 30 feet from the patio to the edge of the pond, but we're also on an incline. And thank goodness we didn't get any rainfall yesterday from the storm or else this might not have been possible. <laughs> Russell was our operator of the 90 and is the operator of the 90. And uh, this isn't his first attempt at a tight location. So I like to look at it and make sure that it's possible to fit the truck because you have a 30 foot truck, you know, in a 10 foot wide area. You have to turn sometimes 30 point turns to get it around. Obviously we've done tighter jobs than this, but it uh, puts a big bead of sweat on my forehead. 
It's it's difficult, but I mean we can pretty much look at it and say if we can get it. Perfect. Yeah, so if you guys have uh, any questions about tree relocations or maybe even tree purchasing, feel free again to give me a call um, or go to the website, uh, email me. My email's on the website. You can even schedule an appointment with me on the website. And of course, if there's any questions or concerns, I've got a great team and we'll make sure we get those answered if I can't answer them for you. I'm just clearing it off. I want to check on my favors. That looks good back there. Yeah, gonna be a lot happier right there. Oh, the magnolia tree. Yeah, the pavers were good. Didn't crush the valve box either. It couldn't Why have gone. Not? It couldn't have gone any better because he drove right over the top of it. But I turned them all on. They all still work. All the irrigation came on all the way around the house. That looks good, guys. Good job. Hey guys, John Cachoni back here with Earthworks again. A beautiful day here in Florida as you can see. Uh, we've been blessed with some rain finally after like a month with no rain. Uh, so you can see the yard starting to fill in. This yard was a St. Augustine before. So if you're trying to get rid of that old grass that you don't like, it can be done. Uh, this is just a few short weeks of Bermuda filling in. Um, not being touched with the mower, just allowing it to kind of fill in. Um, so it can be done. Um, some other aspects of this job uh, that we kind of follow around with were transplanting a large palm from one side of the yard to the back uh, and just creating more of a low maintenance landscape for the homeowners here. Uh, the homeowners here like succulents, so that made it pretty easy for me. Took all the mulch out of the beds, uh, put rock in, put some edging in, uh, and then some creative walkways and things in the back, and then some shade areas and stuff as well. So we'll go through and kind of show you the changes that we made. Uh, up here at the front, I love to put plants that smell good going into the front door. So you've got some gardenias, some Miami Supremes, uh, you've got some sweet olives over there, which is a, a shrub, not the olive, the tree. Uh, very fragrant. The customer just commented on them, how, how nice he liked them actually. Um, and then some, some different heights and elevations, different camellias. And I actually left some plants in place uh, that made a statement already. Some hibiscus and some different camellias here. Um, this property has uh, a couple different palms and different species. You can see a dwarf seashore palm there and kind of a naked sago, which we've cut the fronds off of, but has a really cool curve to it. So once that leaves back out, that'll be a really nice corner spot. Um, around that, you've got sedum. Uh, it'll just be a yellow ground cover. It's a really nice contrast against the gravel that we put in the beds. Uh, this bed here, you can see it's just gravel and stone now. I've got some plants coming from uh, a California nursery to decorate there. So some things that we can't necessarily get here. So let's walk down the side, guys, and we'll check out some of the other garden. This is designed to be able to just walk on uh, all the way down the side of the house. Uh, made it really clean. We've got some weird property lines here. So this fence is going to be moved out. Um, and then our new sod will kind of fill in here. Uh, you got your yesterday, today, and tomorrow's here. This plant has three different color flowers on it, so that's really a neat aspect of that plant. Also, some new drainage we put in here to get all the water away from the house. That's really important in Florida. Uh, the rock and stuff adds to the drainage and stuff and gets all the water away from the foundation, so that's really important. Uh, back here, it kind of transitions to shade. You can see how dark it is. We've got a really nice uh, set of magnolias here that make a really nice canopy. Um, in this garden is lush foliage, just big bold foliage. Uh, they really love the philodendrons. Um, and then I taper down to really low succulents back on the gravel with a really clean look uh, with the flagstone in here uh, just to break it up. Uh, back here you can see some of the elephant ears. Uh, the Royal Shield elephant ear is a really cool pop of color in the garden. Um, and then just a mixture of textures and things, the soft caress holly, the foxtail fern, in the future, you'll have that backdrop of the big philodendrons, and I've even had some podocarpus back there to give us a little bit more screen. Those are all really good plants for shade, so if you're looking for some stuff for a shady part of your garden. I have this really planted, so you could do maybe less plants. Um, that's kind of what they wanted. So you could space these out a little bit um, and get the same really, uh, really nice look. And this hole here is where you saw a video of a palm being moved. Um, so you can see it's now a lawn. These stakes are our new fence that are going in here. 
Um, and if you'll shoot over there, John, and kind of show the new home of the, the canary. We're going to have to leave it braced for probably the better part of a year, uh, especially with hurricane season coming in. Like I said, we've been blessed with some rain, so you can see that the lake is about four foot higher than it was on some previous videos. So that's doing our lawn, our new plants, uh, really good. This homeowner here, you can see, look at the orchids, and look at the things she takes care of herself. So you can understand that she'll take care of the garden once it matures, and it's only gonna look better as, few, as it goes on. We'll revisit this garden I plan on doing a Japanese style garden over here uh, with the homeowner probably in a couple of months. Um, so I think that'll be really neat where we trans we go from this Florida garden to this little Asian themed garden over here. Let me know what you think. Shoot me questions if you've got anything about what you've seen on the video. Any plants or any, any aspects of the design itself you want to repeat in your garden. Check us out on Facebook and come see us at our garden center and let Earthworks know how we can do what we can do for you and your garden. Thanks again.